Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings and this is uh, next video in the series. We are making clinic management system. If you are interested, then keep watching until the end. This is going to be a short video, not a long one. And uh, hopefully this will add some value in uh, your toolbox. Okay, so what are we going to do is we are actually going to work on, on enhancing this application. Now, what I want is anything that is done here with the form. So for example, any status is changed, let's say, uh, patient assigned, a new visit created, uh, doctor assigned, uh, prescription created, tr treatment created. I want to capture, I want to keep an audit trail of it. So I want to capture basically what is done, when it is done, it is done by whom. All right. So I hope you got an idea. So we can make a separate table, which I have done already. So if you are, if you haven't, um, if you are following this video series, then uh, you must ensure to make this uh, table as well. So it's a small table, visit ID, action timestamp updated by that's it so anytime any update occur in this form i want that to be captured here and we can at the end have a audit trail of what happened with this visit so i think for the clinic management system software this is a must-have feature this is my understanding i might be wrong but if i'm building this i would love to have this uh, audit trail in the system Okay, so what are we going to do? How we are going to achieve? Well, we are going to achieve by using the function for sure, um, function with VBA, and we will use the record set to achieve that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go to the design view. Now, to right now, to use function, and because I'm going to use this function in behind multiple forms, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, function uh, like a public function, which I can refer to in any form that I wish to. So to do that i'll go to create i'll click on module and first i'm going to save the module and i'm going to give a name for example global mod okay i'll give that name so we save that now i want to create a function and function has to be public to achieve this okay public function audit let's say we give the name of audit and remember it has to be public function then only we can use it in multiple forms um Right. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a rec variable. So we'll say dim rs as record set, and we'll say set rs equals current db dot open record set. Prince open prince close. Double quote double quote. Basically, here we have to give a name of the table. So right click, rename, copy the name, paste it in here, comma, and we will say db open dino set comma db open snapshot okay so that's done now we can open the record set by saying rs dot add new and we can update the record set like that and also don't forget to close the record set rs dot close and also don't forget to say set rs equals nothing all right once we are done now we can give reference of each column or field in the trail table so first we'll come with id visit id so we'll say rss question visit id equals to we give a ref reference of the form called visit form and the visit id field so we'll say forms exclamation mark visit form exclamation mark visit visit id okay so what i'm going to do to save uh, your and my time i'm going to copy and paste a couple of times then i'm going to come back to table I'm going to take the next one, action. Now, this is going to be interesting. What do we mean by action? So first of all, I want to take the status of this form. So anything that is in the status, I want to take that and I want to transfer that information into the action field or column of the uh, table database. So basically, we will refer to status field here. And then uh, after that, we have timestamp. So timestamp basically with the date and time I want to capture. So we'll say now. Okay. And then I want to capture updated by. Now, in reality, I'm going to use temp wars. And if you don't know what is temp wars, I'll explain you when I'm going to create the mechanism for login. So we will use temp wars at that time. But as of now, I don't have temp wars captured because there is no login mechanism created yet so i'm going to give you know i'm going to do hard coding so for example you know give the number myself and that would be from the staff table so we can have like uh staff number two 
is updating. For now, we will keep this. Otherwise, as I said, in reality, we'll have 10 to hours. All right. Now, our function is created, basically. That's it. What we need to do now is because this function is not behind any form and is it is a public function, we can call this function from anywhere within the application. That's the beauty of function and that's the beauty of global mod and the public function. Now, if we will go to visit form and let's look at what exactly. OK, so this is not creating a new visitor. All right, here we go. Now, what exactly we want to do? Well, we want to capture the date and time who has done what whenever there is something happening so for example uh, new visit is created status will be new i want to capture that doctor assigned whatever the doctor is assigned i want to capture that information prescription is created i want to capture that Re uh, treatment is created i want to capture that that means with all of these actions i want to update the status as well and capture the uh, trail table as well so let's go ahead and do that we'll go to the uh, design view first of all let's handle this assign patient uh, combo box so after update event dot 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 what we need to do simply is we will come here and um, sorry we'll come here all right and then we will uh, kind of you know uh, assign or call that function first of all we'll come here all right, because this is, is null we are handling. So how do we call that function, which is not even in behind any form or in this form? So we'll say call, literally we'll say call and we'll give name of the module. It could be any name of your module, dot. And the moment I press dot, I get a drop down list and I get the name of the function that is created. If there are multiple functions created in global mod, you will see multiple names here. But right now we have only one. And that's it. That's how we will call that entire function and we'll update the table magic isn't it <laughs> well according to me absolutely magic all right and we will give that reference here as well um what else well i want to update when the doctor is assigned so i want to call that function again so we'll go here after update event but remember every time we are you going to call this function we have to update the status of this visit form so in this case the status would be doctor assigned all right and then we can call global mod dot audit all right perfect now let's go ahead and go to the prescription form we'll go to the design mode create button and again we'll give we'll change the status of the uh, visit form so forms visit form exclamation mark status equals here we'll say prescription created all right and then we will call the global mod now i'm going to copy this so we can save a little bit time the reason i copied is because we will have a behind the update button as well so if someone has updated the prescription that should also be captured so in here we'll have a prescription updated okay all right um what else well we don't have the updated um vb code to update the record so this will not make any sense but i'll tackle that in the next video but you know if you have done the vb coding for updating record these two line of codes should definitely work i also want to uh, have the same call function behind the treatment form so i'll go in there and i'll search for treatment form right click design view we'll go behind the create button and again i'll copy and paste here and I'll say instead of prescription now because we are behind treatment, so we'll say treatment created. But other than that, it's absolutely the same thing. Okay, here we have the updated form, uh, updated VB code. Thank God. Here we'll say treatment updated. All right, awesome. Now let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so let's check whether that function, all of that VB code works or not. So we'll click on this visit which I've just created. And if I will, uh, you know, assign a doctor, then the status should be doctor assigned. All right. There we go. Doctor assigned. Whether that is update, that is updating the table or not. So let's click on the trail. Here we go. Doctor assigned and date and time is captured. Now, if I'll click close that. Now, if we will go ahead and create a prescription, let's say Panadol dosage 2 after one hour 
start date would be let's say today oh not this start date would be let's say today okay and then copy that paste it will be let's say two days or one day click medicine something like that we'll click on create all right now if we will you can see here prescription created now if i will update prescription updated obviously uh, the actual prescription is not updated because we don't have uh, vb code yet we'll do it in next video uh, but we'll go to treatment so let's say uh, treatment starts today let's say okay we'll copy that we'll say treatment in tomorrow something like that so we'll click on create so treatment created and oops, what's that all right rs update find first treatment id equal to all right what's the error what's the error what's the error me dot treatment id well uh, all right so it's because the treatment id is not updated that's why it's giving that error but if we'll do it now now it should work okay i know these are few things I'm, i need to fix this it's still not finished yet there's a lot more that i wish to do so i'm going to refine this uh, later in the next videos but i wanted to show the audit trail that is created you can see that here all the everything that we have done we have created we have updated everything is captured and it's nicely a, a good idea to have this nice audit trail of everything that needs to be done that is being done that is being captured is done by whom captured by whom so that's it that's what i wanted to demonstrate i hope that uh, this was useful uh, thank you very much for uh, watching please uh, do subscribe to the channel if you have not smash the like button if you like whatever you've seen and uh, let me know in the comments below i'll see you in the